Today we're looking at a little bit of the short game. A lot of golfers I see suffer from the shanks from anything around 30, 40 yards in. The second they don't require a full golf shot, it gets a little bit iffy as far as strike, consistency and control is concerned. And how, what we see tends to happen, we get nicely set up over the top of the golf ball, which is great, but we start the backswing and from the top of the backswing, we start to try and throw the hands at the ball. So a lot of golfers we see start to move the hands out. Now, what I've done here is I've sort of put two training sticks just to give you a bit more of an illustration on this. But essentially, the only thing that is at the golf ball at the moment is the club head. Now, the catch we have that with the hands and the body starting on this line, we want to make sure that the arms and the body don't impede on the golf ball. Now, if you're standing at the top of your back, so when you start to move those hands towards the golf ball, you're going to find that all of a sudden you've run out of space. So now delivering this club head back to the golf ball is going to require an additional movement with the hands. Get this right, you're hitting the ball quite nicely. Get this wrong, we're shanking, we're topping, we're towing, we're blading. It could come out pretty much anywhere. So what we want to try and do with a short game, anything that doesn't require full swing is we're trying to minimize the amount of body movement. But we need to make sure that when we hit the golf ball, the hands return to the same position. So when we start a golf swing, the club will come up down that line. We might roll the forearms just a fraction to get the club up a little bit behind us. But from this position, the hands need to return to the same place so that the club can return to the same place. The only way you're going to generate a little bit of consistency is by removing elements of movement. So by locking the wrists in, keeping the left arm straight and getting the hands to return to the same place, you'll find that you'll be able to deliver that golf club back on the golf ball nine times out of ten exactly as you want to. And then the backswing will just tell you how far you're going to hit it. But try and make sure that you don't end up pushing the hands out towards the golf ball or moving the body towards the golf ball because that will result in a lot of miss hits, a lot of inconsistency and a lot of hard work on your side to try and maintain that golf swing.